Well, better get going as soon as possible. Get the best of the light. Pete? Yeah? Why can't I come? Look, we've been all through this. It's just no place for a girl. Have you ever been on one of these jobs before? No, but... Well, that's just it. You can't understand what it's like. It's, it's like a battleground. The only difference is nobody's actually trying to kill anybody else. Oh, well. Look, we can go fishing tomorrow, okay? I just can't wait. Come on. Hi, Mr. Peterson. Hi. Whoa. In a hurry? Yeah. We're just going to the port to collect the canoe. Well, if you like to wait a few minutes, I'll give you a ride. I'll be passing right by. Oh, gee, thanks. Save us ten minutes. Where are you heading for? Pike River Project, where they're building the new hydro dam. Sure it's okay to go up there? Well, sure. I want to get some new shots from my film library. Well, it's just no place for a boy. How come? You ever been on one of these jobs? No. You just don't know what it's like. It's like, uh... Battlefield? Yes, dead right. That's just what it's like. Okay, jump in. I guess you can take care of yourself. Your necks. It's okay. Are you all right? Sunday must have left the safety catch off. I tried to stop her, but she chipped. You tried to kill me. All right, anything you say. But we better make a report to the office. Come on. You kids must have had quite a scare. Why did you go over to the mess hall and get yourself some coffee? Coco will fix you up. Thanks. Do you think you really meant that? About killing him? I think so. But why? You don't just kill people like that. In a place like this, it's pretty easy to fix an accident for somebody you don't like. Let's go find some of that coffee. I guess it's about time to start for home. Yeah, it won't take very long going down the river. It's only about 15 miles. Please. Sure, we're just going. Oh, no, P please wait. You saw? The accident? Yes. Glad you got out of it okay. Oh, that was no accident. Do you mean to say it was fixed? That was meant to kill me. You must have some reason to say that. But Maybe next time I'm not so lucky.
I talk to you because you don't belong here. Maybe you can help me. Why would anybody want to do this to you? I come here three months ago. Back at home, I learned to be an engineer. I work on many projects like this, and I know about this work. And I know something is not good here. Like what? Someone is cheating. They are not using enough steel in this dam. Why? Well, to make money for himself. This thing happened, and in 10, 20 years, I don't know, this dam will break, and then a lot of people get drowned. Have you told anybody what you think? Well, sure. I, I talked to O'Brien, the construction boss, but he just laughs and says, everything is okay. So I say, I won't talk to the chief engineer, but he's away for two or three days, so I have to wait. Well, Brian could be right. Everything could be okay. Now, maybe, but one hour after I talked to O'Brien, this accident. Sure seems suspicious. Oh, I must get out of here, talk to someone outside. There are plenty of trucks going down. It's only about uh, 20 miles to the main highway. Oh, you think accidents don't happen to trucks? Well, who would you talk to? Police? I was shot by police twice when I'm trying to escape my country. But this is a different country. Oh, I still don't like police. Look, my brother's the chief ranger at Indian River. This is in his area. How can I get to him? Well, we're going down river. We could take you. Now? Sure. Oh, I think perhaps you saved my life. <laughs> You know those two kids that were looking over the site, taking movies? They came from Indian River. One of them was the brother of the forest ranger. I gave him permission, so what? Well, they left in the canoe about 20 minutes ago. They took your Worski with them. You know, I think he's scared. You go after him. Get him back here. That guy mustn't reach Indian River and start opening that big mouth of his. Come here. Now get a truck. You better take McGuire with you. The construction road runs by the river here, and then again here. Mm -hmm. If you don't get him at the first place, you can get him at the second. It gets pretty narrow. And if he doesn't want to come? You talk him into it. Right. Nothing has changed the same here as at home. When man is too honest or speaks the truth, there's an accident. And if that fails, they come after him with guns. Well, I didn't see any guns. Oh, they will have guns. Don't worry. I know these people. They don't let me escape. You don't believe me, do you? Sure, but right now they may just want to talk. Oh, there's a kind of talk which can be very unpleasant. Maybe he doesn't trust us. Uh, there's a better spot a couple of miles down the road. We'll have a better chance of stopping him there. Come on. I must talk to someone about this thing. They must have come down from the dam by truck. And there's only one other place they can get near us. Oh, they will be there. Well, they won't have much time for conversation. We go through there pretty fast. Let's go.
You think it's going to be easier to stop in there? You go through that like a bullet. What we want is a tree. Like this. Good and thick and bushy. Yeah, that ought to fall right across. There's an axe in the truck. Get it. OK. We've got a bridge. Make for shore! Get to shore, quick! Get out, quick! Quick! Right about the gun, they've got one. Yeah, if they start using it, we are dead duck. You won't I've broken it. Oh. Let's get him under cover. We can lead these two away. You think we can make as much noise as he does? up front there is making a noise like a herd of elephants. They're leading us up the garden path. You think they left Yaraski behind? I'd say it was a fair bet. Why, the young... Hey, Mike. Did you hear anything? They've stopped following. We've got to backtrack and find them. Come on. Get rid of them, okay? This is going to be all right. That's dandy. Oh, no. You're coming with us. Come on. 
No, I prefer to die here. No dice. Beef on the hoof doesn't have to be carried. Come on, get moving. Come on. We've got to help them. If we could take them by surprise. They're tough and they've got a gun. We've got to think of something else. Three fires. Three smokes in a triangle, distress signals. One of the towers is bound to see it. Come on. XNY 556, C for Charlie, calling GM, Jack, Apple, Yellow. XNY 556, what's up, Matt? Hi, George. I got three smokes in the triangle. About five miles downriver from the dam. Could be a distress signal. Thanks, Matt. I'm in the area. I'll take a look. Over and out. We think someone tried to kill the man up at the dam, but he got away. They were bringing him down to you. But a couple of guys came after us. They've taken him back. We think they're going to arrange an accident for him. Are you sure about this? Pretty sure. Well, this is police business, not mine. Finish putting out the fire and come with me. Here, come Did they use any violence when they took this guy back? I don't think they had to. He was too scared. Think there's anything in this? Could be. It's possible to get a shady contractor on a project like this. If this guy knew anything about engineering, he could have put his finger on something. Accidents can happen on these jobs, real accidents. Sure. But the tree over the river? Trees can fall down, Pete. You don't always have to push them. Well, I bet somebody pushed this one. Well, let's go and take a look at it. About 50 minutes. Right. Sorry, Sergeant. Sure, I I sent a couple of guys to bring him back. Why? Well, first, he's new to this country. He's got a big chip on his shoulder. If he quits like that, he'd find it pretty hard to get a new job. And second, if he starts rumors around here, it would cost a packet of money to prove him wrong. All right. Whatever way you like. But the work he's talking about is under 5,000 tons of concrete right now. That makes it difficult? Sure does. Well, if anything happens to you, Worski, could look bad for you. I don't think I don't know that. Uh, just a minute, boys. Uh, sorry about your canoe. Here, compliments to the company. Two hundred dollars? Okay, now beat it. I got work to do. Go on. You know this guy, Jaworski? Look, I want him taken off the site. Put him in the cookhouse, peeling potatoes or something. No, wait a minute, no. He could cut himself. Washing dishes. Right. Too bad we can't use it. It'd be like taking a bride. Wages of sin? You think it is? Wish I knew, Pete. Come on, let's go.
Don't forget the light. No. Okay, we all set. Here goes. <laughs> now that's a pretty good shot, don't you think? Yeah. We were really quite a ways up on that dam. I'm going to try and find out the quickest way for cashing a check for $200. Hey, George. How do I cash this? You think you're entitled to this? Well, sure, why not? You know, the film I just shot shows everything. Just by chance. The guy was trying to stop that truck from tipping. So I guess that proves it. Proves you guys were up a gum tree. Well, yeah. Well, uh... Does that entitle you to a couple of hundred dollars? Well, what do you think, Mike? You earned this money? Well, we didn't earn it. We didn't do it for money. But we lost her canoe and camera. It's a darn good thing I put that film in my pocket. What happened? Well, we were trying to get away from these two guys. And why the panic? Those guys were just a little rougher than they needed being. Maybe they thought they were wasting time. Maybe they knew darn well there was no skullduggery going on up at the work site. Oh, well, maybe they did, but we thought there was. There's no excuse for inaccurate observation in a couple of guys who were taught to observe by somebody like Joe Two Rivers. But when we told you and Sergeant Scott about it... Yeah, but you told us halfway through the act, remember? Well, good grief, we couldn't get you any quicker. We were 15 miles away. Have you ever heard of a remarkable invention known as the electric telephone? I mean, sure, we've heard of it. We've also heard of walkie-talkies. We just didn't happen to have either. You could have got to a telephone. And get ourselves knocked off? At least that's what it felt like at the time. At Jaworski was pretty convincing. Sure, it convinced himself, all right. Well, there must have been something. Why? He was a stranger. His English isn't too good. He's got a whole bag of chips on his shoulder because of things that happened to him back where he came from. You give him another six months in this country and talk to him again. You guys have been reading too many horror comics up at that fort of yours. You ought to get out and spend more time in the fresh air. Well, Pete, I guess we boobed. Looks kind of like it. Oh, well, well, that's life. Technically, this is your property. Yeah, I guess so. You want it? No. That's fine. Find a garbage can. There's a fine for dropping rubbish in the street. Thank you. 